today we are going to try to match and recreate some scenes from the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer. I'm so excited. We all knew through leaks and rumors that it would take place back here in Miami Beach in the Miami area. Now we know it's actually including a lot more surrounding communities. And I'm very excited to show you guys what those communities look like in real life. All right, we're in the car now, heading off to our first location that is featured in the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer. This spot I immediately knew because I frequent this bridge, but I immediately knew exactly where it was. And I'm so excited to show you guys what it looks like in real life. Along with the two cities that this bridge connects, so you'll have plenty of time driving across this bridge in the game. We have made it to the Venetian Causeway, which is currently jammed in the back. The way I know that this is the Venetian Causeway in the game is because, one, I live here, but other than that, there is a toll gantry right there. And you can see the bike lanes in real life are also in the game as shown in the trailer. Another dead giveaway is this unique building that kind of looks like step. That is featured on the right side in the trailer. I didn't get that. Could oh, you try God. again? So without further ado, let's get up in the air and try to recreate that shot from the GTA 6 trailer. We are currently above the Venetian Causeway and you can probably already see the similarities from the, the trailer. It is, yeah, this is it. This is the Venetian Causeway in real life, which is gonna be one of the causeways you can do in GTA 6 to go across the bay. So we're facing Miami Beach, and then directly behind us is downtown Miami, which obviously is gonna be in the game. You can see the little house towards the right, which is what I'm standing outside of right now. You can see the toll gantry. You can see the, the stepped building that is on the right. You can also see a tennis court on the left in the, the trailer, which I'm gonna fly over right now. So that is real as well. There is a parking lot as well on the left. Traffic. Uh, I hope they get traffic accurate in the game. It is, it is terrible here in Miami and Miami Beach. I showed you guys the comparison, but now let's pass the toll gantry because you can't do it until GTA 6 comes out. So I'm giving you guys a little exclusive here so you know what the area looks like. So let's say you just drove past the toll gantry. This is all residential, by the way. Venetian islands are all residential, and there's a couple of islands before you actually get to Miami Beach. It does look a lot closer in the trailer, but Miami Beach is still a ways away. I believe it's like a four mile bridge. As you can see, there's several islands you have to cross before you get to Miami Beach. I mean, look at this shot. Miami is such a beautiful city. And I know they're gonna do this city justice just by the trailer. It just looks amazing. But this is what Miami looks like at sunset. And uh, of course, traffic you can see there. All right, so now that we're done with the Venetian Causeway, let's check out the MacArthur Causeway, which is uh, the highway that you see the girl standing up in the convertible. Let's go over there. But for that, we have to wait for the sun to completely set. It has to be dark out. So this is what I suspect is I-404 in the game, which is the MacArthur Causeway connecting with I-395, which it sounds complicated, I know, but it is simple. It just connects the mainland city of Miami with Miami Beach, two different cities. We are on the Miami side right now. So in that part of the, the trailer where you see that lady kind of standing up in a convertible, she is literally driving right here where you see that highway sign, the three green highway signs right there. She is driving right there. And it, the, one thing that's not completely accurate is that the arena, the Kaseya Center, which is where the Miami Heat play, a bunch of concerts go on there. That is immediately on the left. I'll show you guys in the picture. It is immediately on the left and that's not true. You can see it all the way in the back right there so that's just something that rockstar did to add their own little touch or maybe they just felt like there was no need to to space it out like that but here we have this is actually the museum of art pam uh, perez art museum miami and it is also the frost museum of science which is the building uh towards the back there so i guess those won't be in the game or they probably just move them around and put them somewhere else but anyway this road if you keep going actually connects with the airport and you can see that on the highway sign there it takes you to the airport the vice city international airport here it is miami international airport so i'm getting a little closer to the sign so you guys can see so the middle sign basically says heading west on the 836 again it is i-404 in the game an interstate this is just a, a state road in real life state road 836 heading west to the airport. And then we have uh, Biscayne Boulevard, US-1. I believe it's US-3 in the game with a different name. And also uh, I-95 is something else. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's in the picture here. It is something else, but in real life it is I-95. Don't mind all these people in big tents. That won't be in the game. That is part of Art Week Miami. By the way, you can see the Metro Mover there 
It wasn't in the trailer as I had hoped, but it is in the leaks. If you remember the leaks, you remember there is an autonomous train. That is basically just how you get around Miami, another method of getting around. Before we move on to our next place, I just wanna leave you guys with this beautiful shot of Miami. I am so excited to take over Miami and Miami Beach and surrounding communities in Grand Theft Auto 6. Oh my gosh, look at that. All right, we are on Ocean Drive where it is nighttime so we can see the neon lights because there is actually a shot in GTA 6 trailer that shows Ocean Drive and it shows a, an outdated Ocean Drive. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like during the day because just because it's easier to see during the day. But right now we're gonna recreate the shot where there are various sports cars, supercars on the strip. I'm gonna show you guys where that was taken. Before we try to do the exact shot, this is by the way, the Breakwater Hotel. It is off of 10th Street and Ocean Drive. In the shot, it is called Boardwalk. Obviously like GTA games, like all of them, they're not using the exact names of buildings, cars, even cities. Here is a shot of the GTA 6 trailer and here it is in real life. You can see the vertical neon sign where it just shows two letters in it, the LK from Boardwalk and then uh, across the horizontal it is Breakwater obviously the name of it and it says Boardwalk in the game. That's how we know the name of the hotel. Way off in the distance we see purple lights not just in the trailer but in real life. That is the Clevelander Hotel. I'm gonna get you guys a close-up in just a second. And that sidewalk right over here is where that person is sitting there. There's three people walking by and there are a bunch of cars, including a Porsche, parked right over here. So we're gonna switch over to daytime so I can explain why the street looks a little different than it is in the game. So one thing to note, now that it's daytime, I can show you guys better. In the trailer, it shows this at night, but with two-way traffic. As you can see, that's no longer the case. That actually is real, but it was before the pandemic. And you can see some of the old remnants of the markings when this used to be the parking spots where you can actually park your car and you see cars parked in the trailer. That's the old layout. This is the hotel in the background you see it with the purple lights. It is known as the Clevelander. A hotel that you see in the background of that picture in Ocean Drive in the game is called Dixon. It's Hotel Dixon. In real life, that is Hotel Victor. And the Dixon actually stood out to me. Many people probably didn't catch it because they're not aware of the, the South Beach history, but the architect of that building, his name is L. Murray Dixon. I don't know if Rockstar had that planned or if it was just a coincidence. All right, we're done here in South Beach. Let's go to our next location in Miami. Welcome to Miami. We are in the Wynwood neighborhood, which is the arts district. You'll find a lot of graffiti, murals, museums, bars, different art exhibits in general. And I'm standing in front of one of the walls that has, one of the many walls that have graffiti on them, which if you remember the trailer, you'll know that there's a lot of graffiti around. There's a lot of nice cars around. The tricky thing about Wynwood is that we know GTA 5 came out in 2013 and there is a gap between then and, and now, and I guess 2025, that they're working on the game. And I don't know exactly when they flew down to Miami to scout the area, take all the photographs they need for the game. I just don't know. And this neighborhood has been expanding and growing so, so much. I'm gonna throw a picture of what it looked like when GTA 5 came out, or at least around the year. And then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like now, just so you can see how quickly things grew in the past 10 years. In the picture with all of the cars there hanging out, the graffiti on the walls, there is a building in the background and I feel like it's this one, but this was built in the past couple of years. I'm gonna zoom in on the background of the trailer so you guys can see. This building kind of reminds me of it. I don't know why. It doesn't say the exact same thing. It looks like it says wood in the actual trailer or something else, but in real life it says bakery. I'm not too sure, but it looks very familiar. And there is that big building in the background. There is also this parking garage slash WeWork building that has a little curvature to it. And I feel like I can see some curvature in the one visible in the trailer. I just don't know. It is, it's, it's hurting my mind right now. The other ones have been pretty easy, but Wynwood has me stumped. I'm being honest. I mean, I just don't know exactly where that was taken. Like I said, it could it could have been around when they came to survey and it's no longer there anymore. Not the building, of course, that's that's gonna be there. But I'm talking about where the fencing is and where they're all hanging out and cars are inside. Or maybe it just never existed and they just wanted to add that to the game. All right, I think we're done here in Wynwood. So let's go and check out our next location. I was so surprised to see this part of the trailer. This is the Florida Keys. I am so excited. Specifically, Bahia Honda Bridge, which is near Bahia Honda State Park. The entire drive through the Keys is very scenic. You've got water on the left side, you got water on the right side, and it is so much fun to drive in real life, so I cannot wait to drive through it in GTA 6. One thing that really stood out to me in this part of the trailer is the bridge on the right. You can notice there's two sections missing from it. This used to be an old railroad bridge in the early 1900s created by Henry Flagler. 
It was destroyed in the hurricane in 1935 and eventually turned into a highway. They literally built a road on top of it. And there's actually a portion you can walk on to this day. And I actually did that a couple months ago. It is very cool, but eventually that highway was abandoned. And then the one on the left was built. And that is the one that is currently in use today. But it's so cool that Rockstar kept the old railroad bridge on the right, even showing those missing segments. All right, moving on. You know that part in the trailer where a girl is kind of like on a rooftop or a penthouse and there's like pool beside her and the city in the background that was in miami beach now i wasn't too sure where exactly so thanks to someone on reddit they were able to identify where it may have been not 100 sure but it does look similar so i'm gonna get the drone up in the air show you guys what i'm talking about so in the background you can see i, I will point it out with an arrow the portofino tower which is very iconic in south beach you can kind of see it in the trailer so from that perspective they are somewhere north of that tower but they are in the city of miami beach it looks like it it's a very tiny pool overlooking the entire city she would be standing on the rail farthest away from me with the city behind her all right so we're here in the everglades doing an airboat tour because it is actually featured in the gta 6 trailer so we're gonna put the headsets on and we're gonna go on a little ride through the everglades Guys, that was so much fun. It was too loud for me to really talk throughout the ride, but oh my gosh, it was my first time doing an airboat and I'm so happy that re recreating GTA 6 trailer locations had me come out to do it for the first time. That was so much fun and if I had fun in real life, I'm sure I'll have a blast in GTA 6. The fact that they're adding the Everglades, which is so massive. It covers such a wide area of Florida that I'm just mind blown at the size of this map. We don't know yet how big it's going to be. There's speculation, fan-made maps. But the fact that it has Everglades lets me know that it's going to be huge. Now let's go back to Miami because I actually want to do something a little faster than the airboat. For our next location, we're actually going to go on a speedboat because we have to pass by the port of Miami, which you see in the trailer. I'm going to throw up a picture. It's a really fast boat going by uh, one of the oil tankers or cargo ships. We're now passing Port of Miami. I'll show you guys in just a second. This boat's going really fast, oh my God. So in the game, they are passing a ship such as that. Woo, we're tearing the water. All right, just imagine we're on this boat right now in GTA 6. All right, guys, that was so much fun. Oh my gosh. I'm happy I'm making this video for you guys. I'm actually enjoying myself. So that is our last location for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It's the best way to support the channel. And with that said, I will catch you in the next one.